So hey, what is up guys? This is Tito back with another video on the Redmi Note 5 Pro and today in this video I'm going to be showing you how to install the Masi ROM on the Redmi Note 5 Pro. Yes, I know that is a ported ROM of MIUI and I have not flashed it ever. So today I'm going to flash the Masi 2.4 on the Redmi Note 5 Pro and let me show you I have already downloaded like the ROM file over here. Let me just open my download folder and as you can see over here this is the Masic X 2.4 for Wired or Redmi Note 5 Pro and the file size is almost 1.5 GB so make sure you download it from the description box below so let me just do it and let me show you how to flash this Masic ROM so first of all I am on the Havoc OS right now so I'll just reboot to recovery so before proceeding or doing anything Make sure you have unlocked bootloader and official TWRP recovery installed and make sure you have backed up everything because if something goes wrong or if your storage like wipes everything, do not blame me. So first of all, let's go to wipe over here. Make sure you backed up everything before proceeding. Let's go to advanced wipe, Dalby cache system data and vendor. So Dalby cache data system and vendor, these are the things you need to wipe. Like before flashing any ROM, you should wipe it. And now let's go to install. And from here, find the ROM. This is the Masic ROM over here. So I'll just uncheck the reboot after installation because we need to do some things, I guess, in the setup. So over here, let's just swipe to confirm flash. So over here, it shows the innovation logo. So after you flash it, like everything will change. And here, this is kind of a setup process over here and you will be redirected into it. So let's just tap on next. So from here, as you can see, it shows everything over here. I do not know why and like why it's in this kind of language. All right. So on the right side, it shows add block and over here, install full host file. This add block, I am leaving it like as it is audio engine and over here we have the custom harman Kardon, i guess hq audio engine custom beats and custom sound alive hq engine so that's how it is and over here we have the keyboard option we have like google keyboard xpedia keyboard i do not know if you can see it properly but i will zoom it and post and over here we have google and xpedia i'll just choose it to google keyboard root access enable root access disable root access I'll just leave it in enable root access let's tap on next here like in the bottom it shows the English part over like to the top it's something else and it shows install Google Apps like you can choose from the apps I guess like which you want to install just tap on next it shows the system font not narrow MIUI font and normal like simple MIUI font I'll choose narrow MIUI font like I'll leave everything by default over here boot animation miui tv style miui lab style i'll choose it to like default again so it's installing right now as you can see this is a totally different kind of installation process over here and this just redirects you to this installation like manager over here so looks pretty dope this loading screen i like it get a closer look over this looks pretty dope so right now it's kind of done shows 100% so this ROM takes quite a while to flash the ROM so make sure you have like pretty much almost like 10 to 15 minutes in your hand and I think this is done so I'll just click on it and as you can see right now the flashing is done and we are back into TWRP so I'll just select reboot system and after flashing this ROM, this like boot splash image will change. The me.com logo will change to this innovations. So make sure you are aware of that. And you can like flash the stock boot splash image. And here it shows the boot animation, me Y10 innovations over here. It shows. This looks pretty dope. This has kind of a stars like effect over here if you can see it
So here, as you can see, we are finally booted into the system. It shows MIUI 10 and it's asking me to activate my device in my Mi account, I guess. So I'll just do it and come back. So as you can see, it's done now and we are back into the setup screen. So I'll just set it up and over here, you will have some problems with the language of the keyboard. Make sure you hit the global icon and over here, let's go like set up English over here and let's hit next. Now let me set up my Wi-Fi. Let me set up the fingerprint scanner right now. So as you can see, I'm just tapping the fingerprint scanner right now and looks like it's working fine. So this is the default theme we have. We do not have like bunch of extra themes which you do not use, I guess. I'll choose the full screen gestures over here and I'll just tap next. So as you can see, this is how the home screen looks like. In my opinion, looks pretty cool and dope at the same time. And the stock wallpaper even looks cool. The black kind of thing. It's a black wooden finish kind of thing. Looks pretty cool to me. And over here, let's fire up the camera. Let's see it's working or not. So here we have the AI camera over here. As you can see, we have the AI mode up top. And let me switch to the front camera. And here, as you can see, uh, the front camera is working fine too and portrait mode and stuff should be working fine too I'll dig into it later on but right now that's how you should flash the Masic OS and or the Masic ROM this is a portrait ROM basically and Play Store and stuff let me open Play Store so yeah it's asking me to sign in my Google account I'll just do that so Play Store and stuff should be working fine too and you do not need to flash any kind of like google apps or something on this rom and everything like you just have to flash the one zip file the masic rom zip file and let me show you the about section let's go to my device and from here inside all specs here it shows android version as 8.1 over here as you can see let's just go back and mi 10 masic 9124 stable build this one is and the model number shows as redmi note 5 pro where is the security patch bro well here as you can see we have the january uh, 2019 security patch over here not the february one but i'm fine with it so that's pretty much it guys thank you so much for watching i'll be using this rom for a couple of days and i'll make a video about like how this rom is holding up over here so that is pretty much it hit the thumbs up button if you like this video subscribe to the channel down there if you have not yet this is tito from kgn tech signing off for today and i'll be catching you guys in the next one bye, -bye now